There are things that we already know, of course, the lack of development, conflict, which creates mostly refugees, but there are new things on the horizon that I think we need to be very attentive to, and one of them is climate change, environmental factors. Again, all the expertise in the area of uh, climate change would indicate that its effects will not be evenly spread. So uh, small islands are extremely vulnerable. Larger populations that will face uh, the, it's called the slow onset of climate change, so sudden onset, catastrophic natural disasters, maybe on the increase, but the slow onset, desertification and so on, where, uh, or the rise of seawater, so uh, uh, entire communities, again, may, may be displaced first internally, but the scale of that suggests that they will be um, international displacement as well. So that's one entire area that could be a big factor. And the other one is the change in the nature of work. I think we, you know, we see with artificial intelligence and so on, there's likelihoods that the, the global uh, supply and demand for human resources in the workforce will also can be uh, very dramatically transformed in the decades ahead. This will have an impact also on where people either choose to live or have to live to make a living. It's always dangerous to attribute complex uh, events to a single factor. But I think the uh, evolution of, of the means of communication, the acquisition of knowledge and the, the facility of transportation, that all that is certainly a factor that when people choose or are forced to move, it's facilitated, I think, in the modern world by this interconnectivity.